Hey guys, this is Santa 200 here, and today's story time is going to be a crazy one. And here's a little bit of a backstory here. Uh, back in my old high school, there used to be these group of teachers that did not like me for some reason. One of the reasons was me having a YouTube channel, and the other one was me hitting 100 subscribers. And uh, yeah, they actually knew much about my YouTube channel because kids would start talking about it. And only like only a select few of like knew about my YouTube channel, like 200 people knew. And um, yeah, so basically this story is kind of one of those situations where uh, the teacher would get on to me for literally no good reason or, and stuff like that. So uh, whatever you guys hear in this story, please do not repeat because this is actually one of my regrets and actually went against one of my morals in this story. So uh, yeah. So this story takes place in my freshman year in high school, a month after the raccoon incident. Winky winky. So uh, I woke up, it was 6 a.m. in the morning. Like always, uh, I was actually tired at this time. Because for some reason, our, our school actually forced us to wake up every 6 a.m. in the morning. To, like for school. And um, yeah, so like always, I would wake up, take a shower, brush my teeth, eat breakfast. And then I head to the bus. I made it up to the bus, sat down, um, arrived arrived to school at 7 a.m. And my friends, like two of my friends, uh, it was Jake and Andrew, walked up to me and said, Hey Ocean, how are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm doing well, how are you? And uh, they were like, oh, I'm doing good, good. Uh, do you want to hang out after school later? And I was like, oh yeah, sure, I would definitely like to hang out after school. And my friends and I actually talked about a good 20 minutes before I actually part in ways and go into our classes. And uh, I actually went to my first period class and the teacher there was pretty nice. And uh, yeah. Fast forward to third period, I actually went to English class at this time and there was this teacher. Not just like, not the original teacher, but like a substitute. And uh, we actually, see, I have seen the substitute around a lot, but this substitute was normally, um, let's just say he was an asshole. That's what I could say. Uh, this substitute wasn't really nice or friendly and would always try to disrespect any student that he um, could. Basically, he was always targeting the easier targets like myself. And uh, for whatever reason, every time he sees me, he would always say some very snarky BS and stuff like that. And uh, I didn't really like him. And I know he didn't like me whatsoever. Because every time, every time I ever had class with him... He was always saying the snarkiest stuff towards me. For a reference, this guy was always saying, um, don't be like a retarded idiot like Entity or stuff like that. And I was like, dude, why are you always so hateful towards me? And I never really said this out loud. I was like, asked him in my head because I was like always so curious. I was like, who freaking hurt you? Like, for whatever reason, this guy always targeted me. Specifically, me. No one else. And fast forward to a day later, I entered the classroom, sat down, and I put out a book because I had no assignments given or any work to do other than read a book for educational purposes. This guy looks at me, and he was like, the ocean, get to work, put that book up. And I said, no. And the guy was like, what did you say? And I said, no. Like, I literally repeated myself saying, no. And uh, this guy walked up to me, and he grabbed the book and threw it out of my hands. Like, he grabbed it out of my hands and threw it across the room. And I looked at this guy. I was like, did you just really do that? And the guy was like, yes, yes, I did. And, uh, yeah, I got up. Like, I actually got out of my seat just to try to get my book, and he literally pushed me. And I looked at him with anger in my eyes, and I said, did you really just push a student, a freaking minor? And the guy's like, yes, what are you going to do about it? So I pushed him back. And uh, this guy looked at me with complete rage. And he ran his arm back and proceeded to try to punch me. Which, of course, I actually ducked because I actually saw the punch coming. Because, you know, he was turning for the punch. So I dodged and this guy hit a wall. And he actually tried to throw another punch. And this time I actually grabbed his wrist and then I punched him back. So hard that he actually moved four inches away from me. And uh, yeah, after that I ran to the principal's office just to get away from him. And the principal saw me enter. He was like, Ocean, why are you here? And I actually explained to him from start to finish 
And the principal looked at me and said, yeah, that was 100% unacceptable and unprofessional of him. And the principal actually told me that he's going to actually do something about it and that I could actually stay in his office during this. And, uh, yeah, the next day I actually entered third period and, the, yeah, the substitute, the guy that tried to fight me, wasn't there anymore. And he was actually, and he was replaced with another substitute. And this one was actually a girl, a pretty nice one actually. And I actually asked her, where did he go? What happened? And they said, yeah, the last guy that was here, yeah, they fired him. And I was actually pretty shocked and excited because, you know, it means that this guy was gone. And, uh, yeah. More of the story is, if you're a teacher, don't try to fight a student, let alone a freaking minor, because it is illegal and can actually get you in trouble or arrested. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment down below. Bye, and see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.